everyone poops. And this is a serious problem when it comes to energy and water conservation. In the US, water is typically treated and then transported to US homes. A portion of this water goes to outdoor activities and the rest of it becomes wastewater. The average person living in the US produces about 70 gallons of water per day. And of this, the, large, the toilet is the largest contributor. So let's see how this scales. Each person, like I said, flushes 70, has uh, 70 gallons of wastewater per day, and of this, 20, of, 20 gallons goes down the toilet. So if someone has a 450 annual water bill per person, 50 of those dollars are going down the toilet. With a population of 327 million people in the US, that 70 gallons becomes 20, 23 billion gallons of wastewater each day, and 6.1 billion gallons of, to of, wa of water flushed down the toilet. It takes, uh, water must be treated and then transported before it returns back to the home. And this process takes a lot of energy. Um, it takes 10 billion kilowatt hours of energy just for that toilet water cycle. In, dollar, in, in terms of dollars, that's $1.2 billion worth of electricity. Toilet manufacturers and government regulations have been making efforts to reduce the toilet's water footprint. Um, but still we either need copious amounts of water or high pressure flushes. So to reduce the toilet's water footprint while maintaining a clean toilet surface, uh, we need a slippery coating. So to address this issue, we've produced um, what we call the liquid entrenched porous surface, which we refer to as LESS. As you can see on the left, uh, toilet, uh, conventional toilet surfaces are prone to residue buildup, foul odors, and the accumulation of disease-causing bacteria if they're not regularly ma maintained. But our coating stands out from its pure hydrophobic coating technologies and its ability to repel solid waste in addition to liquid waste. Any residue that does attach to our surface can be washed away with 90% less water than a conventional toilet surface. So this is how our coating compares to a conventional surface. Um, but you might be wondering, how does it compare to a state-of-the-art hydrophobic coating? Um, so as we see here, um, our surface outperforms even the state-of-the-art super hydrophobic surfaces and slippery smooth surfaces here in terms of its solid repellency. So our coating leaves less residue, and that means it requires less water to clean it. We further validated our technology through a collaboration with Cranfield University. This group received funding from the Gates Foundation for the Reinvent the Toilet Challenge, and they reached out to us with this particular issue of fecal residue on the toilet bowl. So in their tests, they drop human waste onto a surface, onto different surfaces, and they allow this surface to slide, and then they see how much residue is left over. Um, and as you can see, on all of the other surfaces they tested, all of the waste sticks, but on our surface, all of that waste slides away. But even in the case that we had some residue left on our surface, it would still take up to 90% less water to clean our surface compared to the state of the art. So for households, rental managers, universities, large-scale institutions, basically anyone who's footing a water bill, um, toilet surface that consume, can consume 90% less water would mean money savings. But at the national scale, it would also lead to large-scale energy savings. We've already filed a patent on this coating, and as you can see here um, from this video, our coating um, can already be applied to toilets. Um, we are planning to conduct further customer discovery um, in conjunction with some technical optimizations to see what coating method uh, our customers would prefer. Our current plan um, is to first conduct a pilot test at uh, our home institution of Penn State University. And we've already started making arrangements with our custodial manager there. Um, uh, if this is successful, we intend to reach out to other universities, leveraging the reach and the leadership that this custodial manager has with the Big Ten network and also um, setting uh, janitorial standards in other in institutions. And once we've made some initial sales in this um, in institutions, we'd like to um, extend our reach into retail. And eventually, we want to see our coding in every toilet in the country. Um, when it comes to large scales, if you consider Penn State University, we have a student enrollment of over 46,000 students. And that means that on one day, we're flushing almost, one school day, we're flushing almost a million gallons of water down the toilet. Um, in energy, in terms of energy alone, that means we're flushing away almost $70,000, and we can save a lot of this with our coating. 
However, um, based on interviews with over 100 customers that we've already conducted through our experience in the National i program, we do understand that we can add significantly more value to institutions um, by uh, reducing the labor associated with cleaning the toilets. At the individual, le um, individual level, we can save homeowners significant amounts of money per year just on their water bills. Um, and nationally, these savings would extend to, instead of spending flushing trillions of dollars down the toilet each year, we could be flushing significantly less. Um, from a potential savings perspective, um, if our coding were applied to all of the toilets in the United States, uh, institutions and workplaces would see savings, um, potential savings of seven and a half billion dollars, households would see $15 billion of savings, and our plan is to um, price our product based on these possible savings, allowing the end user to keep some of these savings, and then we would keep the rest as revenue. Um, to get a little bit more specific in terms of our financial goals, we intend to focus our first, focus our first year on developing a minimum viable product for um, institutions. Um, our, second, our, uh, our second year would be set, spent optimizing this MVP and developing a commercial product for institutions, um, while also working on tweaking this commercial product into an MVP for um, households and retail. Um, in, our, in our third year, we hope to have reliable uh, institutional scales, uh, sales. <clears throat> there are a number of, of um, non-market drivers for this particular um, technology at the institutional level all the way up to the national level. Uh, for example, at our home institution of Penn State, um, there are a number, a number of energy saving initiatives um, as well as committees dedicated to making sure that the university makes choices um, that uh, promote reduction in energy and also reduce um, water consumption. At the national level, there are also policies in place, such as the Energy Policy Act of 1992, which sets a limit on how much toilets can flush, um, can uh, send away per flush. Um, there are also other programs that incentivize reducing this flush volume uh, even further from what the policy prescribes. Our team is composed of a number of PhD students. All of us have a material science background. Um, we have a professor on our team from uh, mechanical engineering, and our mentor has had 20 plus years of um, startup experience. Um, we've worked on a number of projects together, both in the lab and outside, such as in the i program. Um, so far, uh, we've been developing our technology since 2015, and we've also been validating it through various um, experiments and with this Reinvent the Toilet Challenge um, through camp, uh, our collaborators at Cranfield University. Um, and our uh, next steps are to, um, we have some technical milestones, which include conducting this pilot test at Penn State. Um, and we also have a number of business milestones um, as well. Currently, we are par participating in the Ben Franklin um, Tech Accelerator Program. Um, where we're, our goal is to surround ourselves with uh, experts and advisors with, um, that can fill in the gaps uh, in our team and give us additional uh, experience and, uh, and expertise. Um, we'll also be looking into different uh, aspects of our supply chain structure and also um, regulations relevant to our product. But ultimately, we want to revolutionize the way that waste is managed. With a coating like ours, toilets may one day be able to keep themselves clean while reducing their environmental impact. Thank you. <laughs>